Hey guys, welcome back to Legend Inn. So today we are gonna check out some nice dim sum place. It's called Sweet Tune and I'm gonna show you how it tastes. Sweet Chun is a happy and simple dim sum restaurant offering freshly made delicious food for dining in and takeaway. The main stall is located at Jalan Besar. Just waiting for my table now. It's not a fancy pansy place and has no Michelin star like Team Ho Wan or Din Tai Fung, but the food is of really, really great quality at affordable prices. All right, guys. So now we just got all our food from Sweet Chun. Time to dig in. Let's start with the congee. Mm. The minced pork in there tastes almost sweet. Oh, I love congee. My favorite congee is the one with the black egg. Century egg porridge is one of my favorite really. I can eat it in the mornings, but also during the day. For example, now we're at lunchtime and it's just a perfect soothing kind of warm meal to start the day with. Mm. The century egg is really nice here. What you have to eat while it's hot? This is xiaolongbao, which is a Shanghainese specialty. So how you eat the xiaolongbao is normally there's hot soup in there. So what you do is you bite off a corner of the dumpling and then you suck out the soup slowly and carefully before you eat the whole dumpling. Super rich flavor. It's really good to have this kind of food with tea together when it gets a little bit too oily to wash it down. So I got myself a little bit of who are tea. I love it. Don't forget to dip your xiaolongbao in the soy vinegar dip. It gives it a little bit of a acid taste, a sour taste, which is really nice in the combination. Next up is the Liu Sha Bao, which is literally translated called the running sand bao. I will show you why it's called Liu Sha Bao. When opening the steamed bun, the filling immediately flows out like molten lava. The filling normally consists of butter, salted egg yolk, milk powder, custard powder, evaporated milk and sugar. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful yellow. Perfection. Mm. Okay, the egg yolk in there is sweet, salty, and quite dense. The filling, and I love the runny texture of this yuzha bao. This is so delicious. I think my favorite sweet dessert kind of dish here is the salted egg bun. Really good. Must try. Tastes like heaven. Next up is the Xia Chang Fen, which are the rice rolls with prawn. Make sure to dip them properly in the sauce that they're given with. Every single dish here is so good. I love dim sum. So I'm not a dim sum expert or let's say a prawn rice roll expert, but I would say this one is pretty good. Soft, silky texture of the outside and the prawns have a nice sweet taste to them. The roasted onions are quite nice. Next up is the fried carrot cake. Look at the texture. It's really, really nice. Golden brown, crispy. And inside it looks to be soft and yummy. What I like to dip it in is this kind of chili, which you can ask for. Just ask for like chili oil, crispy chili, and they will get you something like this. Very chewy texture. It's yam in there, so it's a yam cake actually, but they call it carrot cake. I like the crispiness on the outside, and the firmness of this carrot cake is just... So basically, the dishes that I order today are always the go-to dishes that I order in all the dim sum shops that I go to. And I believe that this Sweet Chun place is one of the tastiest, most affordable, I mean the taste the value it's really good. So there are long queues in front of the restaurants actually every single time when I come here. They are open I think until 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning so when you're in Singapore and you want to try good dim sum and don't want to spend a fortune in like a five-star hotel, definitely come to Sweet Chun. It's really worth it. Next up is the Hagao. 
This is the basic shrimp dumpling, which I think that everyone knows when they hear dim sum. I think that the most typical dim sum dish is this hagao and uh, maybe siu mai as well, which is this one. Let's see how the hagao tastes. Very generous amount of shrimp in this dumpling. I love shrimp. <laughs> Texture is perfect with the chili together mm. and the siu mai. One of my other favorite steamed buns at dim sum restaurants is the barbecue pork bun known as char siu bao. The filling is char siu with all sorts of spices such as soy and oyster sauce, sesame oil and diced onions. The barbecue pork bun is nicely juicy. Mm. Very good amount of filling. I'm definitely getting full. <laughs> One of my favorites, which normally comes at the end of the meal, a dessert. Listen. Mm. It's so flaky on the outside, so creamy on the inside. Mm. The last dish today is the Sichuan chili oil wonton. Sichuan is a province in China. They are known for eating very spicy dishes and uh, for the mala taste. In this case, we have wonton with, um, I guess, minced pork and chives filling with a kind of chili oil covered experience. It's too much, guys. The thing about dim sum is that, as you could see, all the dishes, all the portions were like two, three, four pieces each. And uh, coming here alone is quite difficult because you want to try everything, but you don't really want to eat like three, four of each dish, right? So I definitely recommend to come with a partner or let's say in a group. So the more people you are, the more different dishes everyone can try. Uh, on a budget, basically. Dim sum is a sharing kind of meal, I would say. Uh, having a nice tea, having some nice food, taking it easy, chatting. Today I'm alone, but I still enjoy the food very, very much. I love the sweet shon dim sum. So when you're in Singapore, come here. <laughs>